I acquired this pair of binoculars the other day. They're 10 by 50s and they're hopelessly out of alignment. Now, I got them home and I noticed first of all that whoever had them before has adjusted these screws. I know that because the paint stripped off them and so there's been an alignment problem and they messed with it. So before I even try and use my fast technique with the objective lenses I've got to get the alignment a lot better anyway. So what I'm going to need to do is start to adjust these two screws on each half of the binocular to alter the angle of the prism on the prism shelf. Then when I've got it near enough right I shall correct the final little bit of misalignment by adjusting the objective lenses with the quick method. But the first thing to do is to get the alignment right. At the moment the problem is there is horizontal misalignment plus there is also vertical misalignment and that is horizontal you can cope with the eyes can adapt quite well to a slight bit of horizontal misalignment but vertical it's incredibly hard for the eyes to adapt to that so I've got to correct that first of all so there's the offending screws that are in really visible because the paint's been scraped off them in previous adjustments. So what I'm going to do is alter a screw and see what effect it has on the view. Now that means it's going to be a little bit of hit and miss but also I'm going to adjust the screw then look at an object at a distance. So I'm going to start looking at a television aerial. I've put the binoculars onto a tripod and they're aimed at a television area about 50 to 80 meters away. Now I'm going to adjust the alignment. They're definitely out horizontally and vertically a fraction of the horizontal error. Now you can correct for vertical misalignment by altering the objective lens's position in its cell. But in this case the error is so great that I've had to adjust the prisms before I can even get to this stage. So firstly I'm going to remove the dew caps or the dew rings. In order not to repeat myself I've already made a video on this quick method and written an article on it and I'll put the links below this video and also at the end. So I've been doing the quick method. I have the my marker on the objective which is just a bit of masking tape so it won't mark the lens. I'm now content with the alignment so what I shall do is I shall remove the objective and tighten up the locking ring making sure that the objective stays in exactly the same position in the objective housing. Here's the objective housing, there's my mark on the outer perimeter and there's the mark on the lens so I've now made sure that these are still aligned and what I'm going to have to do now is screw down the locking ring making sure that the lens doesn't move out of alignment. So this is my spanner, I've just made, that's my old one that I made, this is a plate of stainless steel and this one is the new one for the larger diameter objective. Just go into the two slots and slowly tighten. As it starts to seat onto the objective lens, I'm just going to make sure that it doesn't move it. doesn't appear to be doing that at the moment so all I need to do now is I can give it a try and uh, then I'll clean the lenses. That's it the objectives are 
nice and clean now, dust free. I've blown out the dust inside this lens housing here because there was a bit of loose dust there. I've checked them again, they are now aligned so I'm very happy with that um, and uh, there we are. But always check these screws because if the paint's off them somebody's been messing.